Hey everybody, it's Flipping coming at you. Still a little drunker. <laughs> Cheers. So, what we're going over right now is something that uh, Miss Campbell here has had intimate testing of. Um, you went to a course. Was it held by them or was it? No, so the, the gentleman that put the course on was Ghost Rain Tactical and they are out of uh, New Mexico. Okay. Middle of the desert in New Mexico. Which one of these plate carriers did you use? I brought both of them with me. I okay. let, when I was using one, I let some of the guys use the other because I was trying to get feedback. Okay. Uh, so the one I ran for uh, the beginning of my rifle course was the Minuteman. Okay, we'll go in order with so, that. So yeah, so the Minuteman is modular. So I probably should start by talking about the company that uh, so, loaned these to me. So the company is Arbor Arms. Mm -hmm. They're Arizona, they're a combat uh, veteran owned, and they put a lot of thought process into this from what I can tell from simply handling it for a little bit. Uh, hopefully I can get one. Uh, I gotta get some money involved, but it's gonna be they're worth what I've seen so far it looks like they're laser cut um, There's Molly so you got laser cut this panel actually is a secondary piece you can buy from them It's their kangaroo pouch of sorts. It's got a uh, Three mag carrier in the front. I believe you can do doubles on this actually mm -hmm. looking at the, the Yeah, the you thickness. can it expands out really far and then you have uh, this is like an admin pouch from the look of it. It's uh, I use Velcro. it as a cell phone holder. There's Velcro lining on the inside, so it definitely looks like you do an admin pouch, maybe uh, a bleed out kit, if, uh, depending on whatever job you're trying to uh, perform. Um, there are uh, a form of, uh, basically it's modular in the way it's here, the it's Velcro hook and loop. So you slap it on, you can ditch it if you need to. So if you were doing Kazavac and you had this full of tourniquets, and various other uh, medical instruments. Actually, this wouldn't be too bad to be able to slap out and then take care of business. Um, it's got molly, loop, uh, molly webbing up here, um, two uh, oval rings in the back as well, a full um, hook and loop on the back as well to allow for that. And then this is the thing that I'm actually very impressed by. So I'm not as small as I used to be in the Marine Corps, so we'll just leave it at that. But it's got a bungee type system they call with, it a cumberbund. with a cummerbund yeah. uh, well it's a cummerbund in general um with a cummerbund and it's got actual molly loops in the cummerbund as well so even though it's uh for places like arizona i would be looking at this as something that is lightweight very easy to breathe in very easy to move in um but as well as it's got this um connection system you just slap it in, and now it's connected. Yeah, it's really easy to take off. And then you just pull. pull here, and then put pull out. So with that being said, that's my first impression. But Jessica, how do you feel running this thing? Uh, I ran it, and it was easy to use. We did some force on force training, and um, okay. held up just fine. Uh, what I like most about it is I could punch out fully in okay. my presentation with my firearm, and I wasn't impeded at all. That was really nice, and it breathes really well. It's pretty lightweight, okay. so I had no problem rolling around on the ground. It was a fun There's, course. So. We'll, we'll put the links in there so that way you can see the video. She yeah, put them on her Instagram. Kind of got a feel for what I was doing, but um, this model, what I like about it is I got to talk to John. Uh, John and Nick are the owners. Everything about this plate carrier is it's made in the USA. Okay. Love and it's a homegrown company. But what they decided to do with this particular plate carrier, this one is designed for somebody who maybe can't afford to buy what the big boys are using right off the bat, mm -hmm. and they can build as they go with it. Yes. So they can start, I, I believe this one runs 110. 100, 110. It's 110. So it's pretty low, and then you can build as you go and add what you need to it to make it work for you. So, yeah, that's what I saw online too yeah. as well. The, the cummerbund's like a little extra, the, mm -hmm. the, the kangaroo pouch is a little extra, and then on the front of the kangaroo pouch, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, he has it hooked up for uh, first spear tubes, so that way he can slap this on with the first spear uh, hookup, so that's what I can see from that one as well, which would bring that closer in if you weren't using the kangaroo portion. Yep. It ran really well for me, and I was comfortable, and you can tell I did some simulation training with it. <laughs> oh yeah, she's, she got some welts. Yeah. Um, well, it's got some you know, paint on it too. So from what I can tell though, yeah, this is definitely your your starter uh, starter kit. You can you know get it started out in the beginning. It's literally just two straps. Um, so if it's something like a truck 
or vehicle or a quick uh, SSE kit for you to keep on keeping your vehicle perfect. Um, the other aspect is that if you want to start small, get the 110, then you can get the pouch, you can get the cummerbund. They have various other uh, things that you can add to it. Um, it's already cut to the, and as you can tell, Jess is a busty female. And so having something like this, it's definitely, I mean, think about it, body armor doesn't pee. Yeah, no, well, actually that was the whole reason why we started working together, uh, Arbor Arms and I, because I went to uh, a shop show. I was with americansnipers.org and we ended up at the Recon Raider night. Okay. Um, over at the Leather Deck Club. Yeah, I'm familiar. And we were actually, were, our booths were right next to each other. And as it turned out, these guys had saved me. I was doing a, a video for um, Walther okay. a while back. And my Safari Land rig, I needed a new leg strap and I ordered it, but I didn't realize how long the wait time is. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, supply chains are low right now. Oh, so well, sense. this was this was like a year ago. Anyway, long story short, these guys hooked me up and got me a leg strap. We ended up at the booths right next to each other, started talking, and then they were telling me, they're like, well, hey, like, you know, with, with your frame, it would be really helpful for us if you would run our gear, because they're trying to make sure that everything that they're using will conform to women, too. Mm -hmm. And women with hard body types to adjust to, you know? So I was, like, counted at number one. So I did get an opportunity to run their, their equipment and their belts, which are phenomenal, and um, I have no complaints. Okay. Yeah. Um, what I will say is something you can check this out, you guys. I'll put the links. You can totally, uh, you know, build this out as you need it versus as you don't. Um, so it's definitely mission oriented in that aspect. So we're going to move on from this one. Uh, and I'll put the link, like I said, below. Uh, and we're going to cover the Cast Flex with the Maritime release. Uh, this is definitely one of their higher end versions from what I saw on the site. Uh, this one's got the first beer tubes on there. So you pull here and slide and you're good to go. Um, so that's where that kangaroo pouch actually probably associated with here. Um, laser cut, as we can tell, uh, definitely a very durable Cordura, not issue there. They are lined on the inside, slightly padded. So if you have a plate in there, it's not going to... Um, and you ran with plates when you're at the, okay. Yeah. So it's definitely gonna to wear up. Uh, def, the shoulder pads are definitely a big thing for you guys that, that definitely no carrying weight. Um, you, you're used to it, because, I mean, bra straps. Well, yeah, yeah. and lift weights. It lift too, weights, so. and I've seen, yeah, you, yeah, you're not a small little lady. How much have you had a drink? Enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of wine in an hour. I can tell. <laughs> but no, in all honesty, the, the, any guys who've worn plate carriers in general know that you want a lot of that load spread out when it comes to the straps in general. It, it, you don't want it digging into your traps. Yeah. Yeah, it it hurts sucks. After a while, yeah. sucks dig. Um, then you have the Maritime release strap here. Uh, this actually, I felt it, it goes through the entire uh, front panel. Uh, I'm not going to pull it because I don't have the time and patience to weave it back in. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, but you rip it, drops the front plate off, so it works great in. A Kazvac situation, it works great in uh, egress training with uh, falling out of water, falling into the areas you need to ditch your gear if possible. Uh, carries a full size plate from here. They have various sizes, uh, $329. Yeah, I think it goes around that. Uh, and obviously you have choices between the spear tubes, um, between the other aspects of the, they even have the cobra buckles for you guys. I'm a cobra buckle guy, but I don't have time to sit there and do like nine different cobra buckles. Yeah, it happens. What is your thought process on this? I didn't run this one as much, uh, honestly, because it's it's snazzier and I kind of didn't want to screw it up. I let some of the guys run it though. Okay. Um, they said it was really comfortable. Everybody who tried this one out asked me for a link <laughs> to buy it. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. So there, I, there was no negative feedback on this at all. They said it was easy to adjust to their size. Okay. Uh, the the straps here, they said, were very comfortable, which I can even just feel they're substantial. Yeah. Um, the only thing that some people were looking for on this particular model was a little bit of uh, texture on the strap, okay. just for um, holding the, the rifle stock. Okay. Uh, but that is an option, I believe, and I know that the model up from that does offer that as well. Okay. So that's, um, yeah, it's a really nice, Nice rig. So I'm just showing you guys an example. So pull the kangaroo pouch off. You simply 
Take a kangaroo pouch. I need to drink less. I can't work clips. <laughs> clips no work. Do you need a mother? I Adam, Adam, too drunk. <laughs> no, I don't need a mother. <laughs> she left and went to prison when I was a six. It's okay. It happens. Explain so much. Boom. And then it has the attachment points here on the outside, so you can slap them on and be good to go. It, it expands your rig as needed. Takes less than a minute. And you're good to go. So, what would you say this, uh, which one did you prefer running? I like this one more. I tried okay. to stick with the Minuteman because uh, that's one they really wanted me to test out. Okay. Uh, but again, this is just a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Just because of the, the straps and, you know, the, the weight on me for a long period of time was going to, it was hot. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It You're got, in New Mexico. Yeah, in, in the desert <laughs> of New Mexico. It got really hot. Um, and then while we were, you know, on the range itself, of course, we weren't in the shade, so it got a little fast. I ended up running slick after a while because I was like, yeah, screw this. <laughs> screw this. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a really nice, comfortable setup, especially considering what's it, you know, it's holding for you, this life-saving plate, so yeah. And, and I just want to make this very clear. Arbor didn't pay you to do this, did it? No, not at all. Um, they, so like I said, we met at a, a shot show, we met at that particular event, and um, they asked me if I would run their gear, but yeah. they've never paid me anything to, to do it. So I get to write a review as I see fit. Um, I'm pretty, pretty uh, blunt yeah, about, yeah. Well, yeah. well, my thing is when it comes to me doing a review on any product, there's nothing in the firearms industry that's cheap. Oh God, no. And most people, if if they're gonna buy something that you're gonna suggest, that that could be their like half their paycheck or a whole paycheck that's going to what you're saying is a good product. So why would I lie about that? Yeah, I think my rifle's like two mortgage payments. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. That's a sweet rifle. But yeah, no. So if I mean, if I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you, or I just won't do a review on it. I'm just like, yeah, I know. Offer to someone else. I don't want to do it. No, it's honest. Yeah, so um, I, I didn't have any issues I let the guys run it too because you know my experience with play carriers versus a lot of their experience is Not gonna be on the same page. So I wanted them to run it and everybody all they asked me was can I have a link to the website? So to me that says everything. Well, they see value. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the fact that it's made in America is like fully made in America is important. I think they said there's only one item on any of the, the products they sell and it's some kind of buckle that they can't make. Probably the Cobra buckle. Probably, that's probably The Cobra buckles are not a common item yeah. that we make in America. There are companies who have make them. Um, they still run pretty expensive, like yeah. 30 to 50 bucks for a buckle. You know, with, um, with uh, Nick and John, they started off just them. Mm -hmm. They left a different company, I won't name the company, but they're well known. They left that company and then they were working out of their garage. And now I want to say they, they have around 20 employees. That's nice. pretty cool. That's pretty that cool. Nice. Yeah, and they're continuing to grow uh, and continuing to expand. And I mean, it's it's really sweet to see an Arizona company doing that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm kind of proud. <laughs> Do you want to say anything, anything to the viewers? Uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to go check out Arbor Arms, feel free to do so. And you can follow me on Instagram and see how I'm growing as a shooter, as an instructor. And um, every once in a while, I do reviews on whiskey too. <laughs> and what's your? And don't you you brew beer, right? I do. I do yes. brew beer. Yeah, yeah. No, not all the time because it's a giant pain in the ass. Well, yeah. Yeah. So like once or twice a year, I'll do it. I try to do it seasonally. Well, so yeah. that was my goal. But the last time I did it, I threw my back out. We also live in Arizona, so seasonally. Probably right, that's probably twice. twice a year, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, the last time I did a, um, I actually took, are you familiar with Lead Splinger's whiskey? Yes, I'm okay. familiar. So I took a bottle of their, um, their whiskey and I put it in a jar with espresso beans yes. for eight months. I had that beer. You had that beer, yes. yeah. What did you think of that? It was good. It was a good yeah. beer. I saw your eyes roll. It was a, no, it was a good <laughs> beer. Uh, I, as much as I, I support the uh, Article 15 uh, Lead Slinger slash uh, Black Rifle Coffee guys, uh, the beer probably tasted better than the whiskey. You know, I heard, <laughs> so actually I had a conversation about this the other day. Uh, 
there was a reason why I decided to put it in my whiskey or yeah. in my in my beer as opposed to drinking it. Yeah. I'm I'm a Scotch snob, you know that. Oh well, yeah. But um, good thing I have good Scotch. You do. <laughs> I'm really happy right now. But uh, I heard the other day that their rye is actually very good. Yeah, I've had the rye. The rye is good. Yeah. Uh, I was not so fond of the napalm. Uh, the uh, regular whiskey's fine. The the they also have a bottle, a couple of bottles of the uh, Thin Blue Line, which is just a the regular whiskey branded for, label. branded for uh, police officers yeah. that were fallen. Um, stand behind the company. Just not a fan of the the lead I feel like it's a little watered down in my taste of because it tastes like Jack Daniels to me. But what the problem is is that I drink a lot of high end ish. Right. Yeah. I'm bougie, I'm bougie when it comes to, if it's yeah. alcohol, tobacco, or or meat, and it's gonna kill me. I might as well you know have the best. Have the best. I agree. You met my wife. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> She's amazing. Alright guys, you guys have a fun day. I'll put the links. I'm a little drunk. Yeah, yeah fun.